don't hinder you from serving him. He's talking about uh, also, he's given you everything you need in life. He's provided clothing, shelter. He's, he's provided uh, 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 access to finances, medical attention. Everything that you would need, house, land, everything. That's, that's what would give you peace. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank God. The scripture says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these other things, all these other things, what? Uh, that you need, uh, and he's provided them unto you. Amen. That's what he means by life. And that's what he means by he's giving you everything that you need to live this life so that you can have peace. Amen. Notice, then he says, he's given us everything we need that pertains unto life, notice, and godliness. So everything that you need, he's also supplied um, everything you need to live a godly life. <laughs> now, there's no reason why we can't live holy. He said, be ye holy, for I'm holy. He's given you his word, he's given you promises, He's given you the Holy Ghost. He's baptized you. He's given you the form of baptism. Amen. He's given you uh, 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 peace and joy. He's, he's given you everything you need. He sent, he sent uh, uh, the fivefold ministries, pastors, uh, evangelists, prophets, uh, apostles, uh, uh, teachers for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, Amen. for the edifying and the building of the body of Christ. Amen. He's also sent you just in trials that, that he himself has, has tempered. Amen. He himself has, 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 has gone through God, wherein he himself has made a way of escape that nothing shall be able to withstand against you. <laughs> He's also given you authority, power over the devil. <laughs> Everything that you need. Uh, that pertains to life yeah. and godliness. And that's what he said. Now notice, this all works then, if you look at that last column, where he says, according as his divine power. How did God give you everything? According to his divine power. Yeah. It's his power. And, and his authority. It, 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 that's, how, that's how these things come to pass. If God be for you, and who then can be against you? Who can stand against the power and the anointing of God? Amen. Who can stand against God's counsel? He told, he told it uh, when he said he was blessing Abraham. He said, when I couldn't find nobody else to swear by this greater than me, I swore by myself. I tell Abraham, in blessing, I will bless thee. <laughs> oh, yeah. So God did all this according to his divine power, has given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness, comma. Uh, why? Because he's trying to get you to think about the thought. Through how did this divine power happen? It comes through the knowledge of him who has called us uh, to glory and virtue. Notice, it comes through the knowledge of him. Uh, when you, that's why you gotta study the scriptures. Uh, that's why you gotta study the word. God said Himself, He said, people uh, don't really know or understand me. Uh, that's why they have problems. That's why they have situations in their life that they can't handle. Uh, uh, people who uh, suffer loss uh, and go through great uh, 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 bouts of depression because they have suffered loss. Uh, 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 they, they, they seemingly want to lose their mind. Why? Because they don't know that God is a keeper, that God is a helper, that all things work together for good to them that love Him, to them who are being called according to His purpose. When you really know and understand God, that He becomes your He becomes your rock, He becomes your strength. He becomes your shield. Amen. He becomes your peace in the night. Hallelujah. My God. My God. And, 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 and as the scripture says, the Lord is my life uh, and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? When trouble comes upon you, you say, whom shall I fear? Uh, 
partaker of his divine nature. How does that come to pass? That comes to pass through grace and peace, uh, a multiplication of knowledge of him. Yes. That comes to pass through his divine power. Uh -huh. Amen. And it comes to pass by uh, he providing to you everything that pertains to life and godliness. Yes. Uh, it comes to pass because God has called you to glory Good. and virtue. Amen. Amen. And he says, Amen. It comes to pass yes. through all the promises that God has made. Yeah. Notice that by these ye may be partaker of the divine nature. Notice, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through love. We've escaped in that corruption that is in the world. Yes. Amen. In other words, when an individual truly Get saved. Yes, sir. Yes. That the heart of that individual should not be focused on the world. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Uh, uh, and the things of the world. Yeah. Uh, it should really be focused, as the scripture says, set your affections on things above. Yes, sir. When yes. Christ sitteth at the right hand of the Father. Yes, sir. We escape. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, 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 the world and the wrath that God is going to pour out on the world. Uh, we enter into a city of safety, a yes. place of yes. refuge. Yes. Uh, hallelujah. Very, uh, uh, when, when God pours out his wrath upon this world, we escape that. Amen. We won't, we won't experience that. Hallelujah. And, and uh, going through the tribulation, the tribulation period, all of that that, that that is going to happen during that period, the saints of God will be raptured. The saints of God will be gone. Amen. Amen. So, 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 that's why we ought to value what we have. Yes. Amen. Value what we got. Thank you, Jesus. My God. You know, uh, I'll have to have a magic and lose the magic and realize that that now I'm homeless and realize everything I lost. Amen. Uh -huh. um, you ought to be able to value what God has given you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And not backslide. Yes, not give it up. Yes, not turn it in. Yes, Why? Because oh, God man. has blessed us. Yes. Yes. Yes.
And besides this, amen, uh, he said that besides this, besides what? Besides this knowledge, this information that he gave you in verses 3 and 4. Notice what he said. Give all diligence. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Give all diligence. That, that, word, that word diligence there is, is a powerful word. And it means uh, 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 eagerness, earnestness. In other words, be about your father's business. Yeah. Uh, when Jesus was 12 years old and he went into the, uh, the temple teaching, uh, 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 asking and answering questions, amen, with the lawyers and the doctors. And his parents uh, left him there uh, thinking that they were with him, uh, with them. But when they discovered three days later that he was not there, they went back. So that's another three days. That's six days. <laughs> uh, they went back to Jerusalem seeking after Jesus. And Mary was hot under the car. Thank you, Lord God, because uh, she was there trying to accuse Jesus of doing something wrong. Uh, and Jesus, he wasn't doing anything wrong. He never sinned. Hallelujah. And, and, and she said, Son, don't you know we were seeking after me, sorry? Amen. And, and uh, me and your father. And Jesus uh, suddenly put her in check. He said, uh, uh, Why seeking you me? Don't you know that uh, it's time for me to be about my father's business? Amen. So, so he was diligent. Now, even at the age of 12, he was diligent about being about his father's business. Amen. Are we not to be diligent uh, about being about our father's business? Yes. Just as Jesus was diligent uh, yes. being about his father's business. Yes. Oh, and, and that's what the word diligent means. To be yes. eager. Amen. To be, to be earnest about it. Oh, yeah. and, and you know, when you're earnest about the things of God, God will show up. When you're earnest and eager about knowing about God, uh, he'll, he'll manifest himself to you. And, you know, and those who apply themselves are the ones that grow expeditiously in God. You know, in other words, the ones that apply themselves, those are the ones that God will move to the head of the class. Amen. Yeah. Those are the ones that will have knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Those are the ones that have a peace that passes all understanding. Those are the ones God will use to his glory. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Whatever, where much is given, much is required. Yeah. Amen. So be diligent. Be eager. Amen. Be careful. Walk circumspectly. Amen? Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And notice what he says. Besides this, give all eagerness. Amen? Uh, uh, be earnest and add to your faith. Thank you, Lord. Now, uh, we got to add some things to our faith. Right. Why? Because your faith is very important. Yeah. We walk by faith and not by sight. Amen? Amen? Hallelujah. Hey. The, the just shall live by faith. Hey. Amen. We overcome by faith. Hey. Uh, we should, hey. when we're fighting against the enemy, we've got to take the shield of faith. Hey. The which hey. all authority comes from the faith. Hey. Hey. Amen. You, you ask and receive uh, and, uh, by faith. Hey. Amen. You hey. speak to your trials and your tribulation and your mountains. Notice what he said. He says, add this to your faith, virtue. Meaning that, meaning that, you know, because your faith is often attacked. Amen. It's often attacked. Thank you, Jesus. So you've got to add virtue to it. And, and that virtue, once again, means moral excellence. Amen. In other words, uh, your faith literally has to be pure. Amen? Make your faith pure. Don't be double-minded. No. Be honest with right. faith. Amen? Amen. In other words, don't, 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 don't say one thing and do another. Right. Uh, be, be, let your faith, let your faith be Morally pure. Yeah. Excellent. Hallelujah. In other words, let, let not doubt uh, uh, come into your heart to overcome 
your faith. Right. Amen. Right. In other words, I was uh, I was I was I was a case manager. I was dropping off uh, a lady, and uh, uh, she said, "God bless you and good luck." Uh, so 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 you know uh, when you have faith. You know, you know, operating in love. No. Amen. No. Uh, so, so, so that's an instance of not having morally uh, good faith. Right. Amen. It's, it's tainted uh, with superstition. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Tainted with idol worship. Yeah. In other words, when you have faith in God, you don't have a backup plan. No. Why? Because God is your backup plan. Right. <laughs>
says, verse, verse number five, he says, and besides this, give all diligence. Add to your faith virtue. So you gotta add to your faith virtue. And have more or less. And once you deal with your faith and you get all the impurities out of your faith, doubt and unbelief, just believe God. Amen. Come to a place in your walk with God that you just believe God. Yes. Amen. And and how do you know that you just believe God when when it seems impossible? And you don't try to figure it out. You just let God work it out. Yeah. Amen. Hey. And you rest in Him. Hey. Uh, you rest in Him. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Thank you, Lord. You rest in Him. Hey. And then when God uh, gives you uh, a command to do something, you don't struggle with that. No. You just do. Just do. Amen. Just do. You just do. You're not. You're not. You're not bumping up against it. You're not saying all this doesn't make no sense. You're not murmuring. You're not complaining. You're just believing God. Yeah. Hey! Yeah. Believe in Him. Amen? Yeah. Now notice here. Once you have, have, have purified your faith as such, yes. then you open the door to add knowledge. Mm. Amen? These are steps here. Yeah. Amen? Once you get your faith together and, 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 and really come to terms that, as Job said, Lord, uh, in this flesh, I'm going to see you just trusting him, just believing him. Yeah. Amen. 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 You then will enter in a phase where God will add knowledge. Amen? Now, knowledge, when God talks about knowledge, it's precious. It's valuable. In other words, you get insider information that other people don't have. Right. Amen. I'm not just saying revealing himself to everybody. No. No, everybody uh, doesn't have an open vision with God. No. Amen? God is not uh, 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 speaking, so to speak, to everybody. No. Amen? No, because not. everybody can be trusted with this information. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Knowledge, temperance, notice that it says to 
have to be subject to faith. Yes. Hallelujah. I got the Lord. What is it? For verse 8. For if these things be what? In you. These things have to be in you. Right. Amen. If these things be in you and about. That word, don't, don't retain that word about. That means increase. Yes. And you know, my, my faith should increase from day to day. Yes. Huh? My, my fruit should increase from day to day. Yes. You should see some growth. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you. Stuff that bothered me 20 years ago shouldn't bother me today. No. Amen. Amen. No. Because you should see some growth. Growth. Yes. Amen. That's right. I should not be fought in my mind with, with the things that I was fought in when I first came into the body of Christ if I right. went over here with Jesus anytime. Yes. Right. Amen. Hallelujah. Because I'm going. Right. I, I'm maturing. Right. Uh, uh, I should, uh, 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 you should see some kindness in me. Right. Uh, you should see some love in me. Yeah. Right. Uh, you should see some temperance in me. Yeah. You should see some patience in me. Uh, yeah. You should see some brotherly kindness in me. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Because you have to display these attributes, then uh, uh, you should question whether or not they're in you. Uh, right. But if you're displaying those attributes, you don't have to question whether or not you're in you, no. you're displaying it. Right. You're showing it. Amen. Right. When, you, when you ask somebody to do a work for you, a job for you, don't you ask, well, let me see your reference. In fact, let me see some pictures of things that you have done. Right. Right. Because that shows uh, a level of skill that is in you. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. You know yeah. a tree by the fruit of that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. If you always a solid puss, amen, you always murmuring and complaining, I know you got the fruit of Jesus. Yeah. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. You got you got you got some love coming to you. Right. Yeah. But if you're bearing all things, hoping all things, enduring all yeah. things, blessing all things, I know that yeah. you yeah. who you serve. I know who you trust. Yeah. Amen. They plan for the future. They live 
a person who Esau, Esau was an individual who sold his birthright for a bowl of soup. Amen? Lent of soup. Gave up everything. He couldn't see it far off. He couldn't realize that in my present state of hunger, that because God has given me a birthright and an inheritance, God will sustain me through that period of hunger so that I can attain his precious, precious promise. When an individual realizes that they are a child of God and that God keeps his promises, that it is of his mercy that we are not consumed. Amen? Because his compassions, they fail not. Just because I'm in a present state of trouble, he said, I'll never leave thee nor forsake thee. Uh, a wise person lives beyond that present state of trouble. Yeah. Uh, knowing that he that shall come, he will come. Uh, I'll be trusting in the Lord. So he says, he says, he says, uh, but he that lacketh these things is blind and cannot see afar off and have forgotten my God. One of the worst things you can do is forget about God. Yeah, forgotten that he or she was purged from the old sin. Amen. Hallelujah. Then he said, Wherefore the wrath of God make your calling and election sure. For if you do these things, ye shall never fall. For an entrance shall be ministered unto you abundantly into the everlasting kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So we're going to conclude right there and pick up uh, on next week. Hallelujah. Uh, on verse number uh, 12. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. We thank God for this Bible study. Yeah. Amen. Amen. We thank God for the anointing yeah. that God has placed within us. Yeah. And, and, and truly, God is great and He's worthy to be praised. Yeah. And as we begin to live for God, Amen, let us examine our fruit. Yeah. Amen. Let us let us remember our, our choices. Yeah. Amen. Let us walk worthy, as the scripture says, the vocation yeah. where we have been called. Yeah. God is good, and his mercy certainly endured forever. Yeah. And we certainly thank God and praise God for you all tuning in with us on today. In Jesus' name.